Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Monster Hunter World, and this time I remembered to applaud. Uh, previous episode, I didn't applaud when we started. Sorry about that. So, it is time for us to take on this quest, the Encroaching Anjanath. We are going to go hunt an Anjanath. Uh, for this, we're going to use all of our Pukey Pukey equipment, uh, so... I am going to also use the Pukey Pukey Lance, uh, because we haven't used the Lance yet for a hunt either, so I figure we might as well use the last weapon we haven't seen and get that out of the way. Um, so for that, let's go ahead and talk to um, we're going to talk to our guild handler here, I'm sorry, commission handler. And our assigned quest is the Encroaching Ajanath. We're going back to the Ancient Forest. As we're gearing up to capture Zora Magdoras, we need to secure Estera as much as we can. It's too much of a risk to have that Ajanath roaming so close to the base. So we're going to take him on. Um, looks like it's going to pay us a pretty good amount of money, which is great. Everyone loves money. It's a four-star quest, our first four-star quest. Uh, let's start in the southwest camp. Uh, we're going to eat at camp because we're going to take a look and see what that looks like. So we are decked out and ready with our gear to hopefully poison the Ajanath quite a bit uh, and cause it quite a bit of heck. And we'll also go over how the lance works when we get there as well. So we just got to wait for our quest to load. We're just taking our normal uh, antidotes and potions is all we're really going to carry with us so few items that we've had to use it's it's kind of neat this version I'm not used to having so few items in the other Monster Hunter games so that's a nice quality of life thing to not need as much here for low rank I don't know what high rank will be in this game though so we're gonna go ahead and depart head out to the ancient forge camp Whoop! let's go Flint so what we're going to do is talk about the lance. The lance is uh, a weapon that's kind of neat. Uh, it's very noob friendly. They're probably going to talk to us here. Our number one priority is to secure the base by taking out that encroaching Anjanath. Use everything at your disposal. That's the way it works here in the new world. Okay, I plan to. So let's go ahead actually and eat, and then we'll talk about the lance after we eat. Uh, so, what do we have here? A 30? Uh... 30 and 20, what's this 30? Attack up small, and attack up, def yeah, we'll do attack up defense up. How is this change? Is it still a big piece of fish? No! It's a, oh look at that. It's it's like a turkey with extra legs. It's some kind of strange monster hunter animal. I have no idea what that is. Alright, so a little stamina, a little bit of health, a little more attack. Can't go wrong with an attack up boost. Uh, let's eat our, uh, let's grab our rations and, uh, looks like we got some throwing knives as well. We could probably make some poison knives if we wanted to, um, while we're on the way. Uh, so we're going to eat our ration here, get our stamina bar all the way up. So the way the lance works is this. The lance has a basic three hit combo. And like the gun lance, at the end of that combo there's a little bit of a pause. So if you want to attack right away, you want to do a little hop, and that way you can get right back to attacking without having to wait for the animation. The other tricks of the lance are it can attack straight forward, or we can attack up as well. Whoop. If I can hit the right buttons. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. So to... Uh, we have a dash attack that we can charge forward with it if we need to close the distance with the monster. I did not mean to kill that. What do you, want? you can kill the little guys? Stop. Stop moving, dude. You can kill the little endemic creatures and not just capture them? I didn't know that. Um, the other thing the Lance has is um, this high sweep attack. Which is kind of like, you know, gets everything out of your way. Good for when you got a little of monsters. You can also attack up the same way that you can attack with the straightforward. And the up attack tends to work better. You can hit tails with that. You can cut as well. Um, it also has an attack called 
the guard uh, the counter. So if we hit B, we do this. And that puts us into a block mode, and then we get an attack off. So if a monster's about to attack us, it behooves us to get that block, block it, and then stab the monster for a lot of damage. Now a last thing for, to note about the lance as we get moving forward here. Uh, the lance itself, I don't know if it's the same in this game, but previous games it's been this way. It has a peculiar uh, part to it is that it can do both slashing damage and blunt damage. And what that means for us is that on a monster when you attack it, Certain parts of a monster take more damage from slashing attacks, and other parts of a monster take more damage from blunt attacks. The lance can change, automatically will use whichever type of damage does the most to a monster. Or at least that's the way it's been in previous games. So it's a very versatile weapon. As you can see, it, so it does great damage. Uh, you can get lances like this one that have status attacks. Let's find this edge off here. Have we already? There we go. Um, it has that guard, so it makes it a very defensive weapon. So it makes it easy to protect yourself if you don't feel confident in your fight. It's just very noob friendly because of that. I don't say that in a mean way. If you are new to the game, it will definitely make make a great first time weapon to use if you're just not sure how to play. Uh, I don't want to tangle with you guys. You're not what I'm looking for. What I want is the Aginath. Where is he at? Up and around, it looks like. Up there. Oh, it's going to be through here. That's a little odd. Oh, wait. What's this little... Is there another kitty in here? Oh yeah, a minor palico. Woo! We have picked up another buddy, a second kitty cat. That's awesome. Um, that will definitely help because the Anginath uh, is a scary monster. I've tried killing him once before. Um, a buddy and I have played a little bit together online. He's been catching up to where I'm at. Uh, and we tried fighting him in a previous quest, and he would not die. I'm wondering if before this quest, if he's immortal, uh, like the Legiacris was in Try. Oh, that great Jagras is being devoured. That uh, does not look delicious. Well, maybe it does. Maybe a Jagras tastes like butter. So, there's an environmental thing up here. We've knocked this down before, I think. Uh, if we knock this down and it hits the monster, it does a ton of damage. So I guess that's what it's going to want me to do. Yeah, see how he's getting under this big rock here? Boom! Oh, yeah. Well, that's one way to start a fight. That's a way to respond, is to throw a great Jagras at you. The Aginath. One of the flagship monsters for this game. Alright, we don't need to put out an SOS. So what we're going to do is we're going to start getting at him here. Pretty good damage. We're going to get our guard up. He's going to do attack. Uh, we weren't facing him correctly. He's eating us. That's not fun. Can I... Get away from him? There we go. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? A little bit of a tail smack there that we took in the face. No, that's okay. This, uh... This guy's gonna be a problem, though, if he gets involved. Let's make him not a thing. Oh, we've already poisoned the Aginath, so that's good. Is that the tail? Yeah, there we go. You can see how we blocked the tail. We get our block in, but he went past us. So that's okay. And blocking does use up stamina. That's kind of how the game uh, regulates it and keeps you from just blocking over and over again. Um, I'm apparently going to be just really bad today. 
I was just great. I would seriously, if I don't here. I have a plan. How about you go after anything else and let me drink this potion and uh we'll just go from there. How's that sound? Thanks. That was frustrating. So that was a pretty bad opening, uh, as we've come to expect with the way I play the game. Uh, so we're going to chase him down. Get caught back up here. Grab these red pits. He won't get that far away. Uh, we're going to be more aggressive. We are just going to aggressive it up here. I'd love to get a mount off on him. And I'd like to actually block a little bit better. It's just out of range. Come on. There we go. We got the block off. Ideally, you'd probably want to wait uh, until the attack is closer to happening before you actually do the block. Just to make sure you get a block. You also do a ton of damage when you actually hit him. So that's always good. Looks like he might be going into frenzy mode. Yep! He's got his, uh, his nostrils out. I am trying to block, but I can't see anything here. There we go. He put his little wings away. Weird little, like, half wings that he has. But he is, uh, he is in a really rough spot to fight. There we go. He's gonna breathe fire, maybe? No, this is just a really weird spot to fight him. He has a hip check. I would, I would love to. I'm gonna faint. I'm gonna get fainted because I can't get away from him. Woo! All right, let's go ahead and get healed up and approach this from a slightly better uh, perspective here. Uh, Flint, you were supposed to keep him busy while I healed. I don't want to use my mantle yet. Oh, oh goodness! Get these mega potions ready. All right. Here he comes. There we go. Got a trip on him. I keep getting caught in those uh, attacks. But you can see how we're alive because of the shield on there. We definitely should be dead by now the way we've been going. But our poison is definitely helping as well. Let's catch up to him here. Let's uh, sharpen. And let's keep an eye out for any herbs uh, that we see along the way, since uh, we are just uh, playing so poorly. We're going to want to make sure that we... Ooh, what is this? I've never been on top of this little piece of structure here. Huh. Um, we're going to want to make sure that we have some more healing items, I guess. Woo! I told you this would be rough. I'm doing terrible. The Lance, not a weapon I use that often, and on top of that, he's a tough, tough monster. I'll tell you what, uh, did he go up? Yeah, he's up here. Uh, there are some Paratoads around here, so we might be able to capture him with one of these. If I can get away from it. There we go. So that Paratoad kind of helps him out. We'll get a couple good shots off on him. Ah, uh, I don't want to be dodging backwards. I'm going to go sideways. Oh! Kind of a mean thing for him to do. Kind of just kicking us around behind him. Oh, I thought he was going to do a big attack, but he did not. He's uh, going after the Palicos, which I'm not going to complain about. Uh, there's a little bit of iframes on that little hop, so if you time it right, you can completely avoid his attacks. Um, there we go, that was a good block. And again, we're just going to poke him a bit. 
he's kind of mindful of his attacks. And if we think he's going to hit us, we're going to do the block attack. Which is good. There we go. There we go. Getting some good hits on him now. Feeling good about the way this is going at this point. He also appears to be getting a little maybe exhausted. Oh! Did not expect a big tail sweat. Nope, that's not exhaustion. That is pure anger. Pure anger. Uh, I would like to go back to my potions. We'll just kind of get up here so we have time to drink. We could also use a sharpen. Uh, I think... I think we can probably get away with it right now. Oh, Flint. Why? Why, Flint? Why do you do this to me? There we go. A fringing Aginoth is nobody's friend. Oh, we're getting all kinds of bumped around. Okay, he's running off. That's okay. Uh, might as well sharpen one more time just to be sure. Just to make sure we're at max awesomeness. Yeah, I said max awesomeness. It's all good. Uh, what do we got here? Any honey, any herbs that we can pick up along the way would be nice. Oh, we can't get through there. Oh, he can get through there, though. Nice little piece of destructible environment. Let's see if we can't get him to come around this side and we'll get a mount off on him. Looks like he's going to fire breathe here in a moment. What is he doing over there? He's showing that tree who's boss. Can you come over here? Can you come over here where we can get the mount on you? Wow. He is, uh, he's having a time of it. I'm going to try and break his face. I think. It's my goal. Yeah, there we go. That's what I need. So let's get up to his face here. Brace while he kind of shakes his head around. Oh! Oh, we got him! Oh, what a bad time to be. Uh, to be doing this and not actually have me on the ground. What a waste of that little trap thing. But let's see if we can't get the big hit on his nose. There we go! Yeah! That's what I like. And then, if these Absaros would go away, we would be having a good time. Oh, he's going flamey again. Oh, come on, come on. I think we did some good damage to him there. I didn't see the break message, so I don't know that we broke his face. But I do see some stuff on the ground, and we poisoned him, and he's getting tired. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like we're doing the right stuff. Nope, oh, should have gotten a block off there. Alright, come on. Get up on his face, Grug. I think we broke his face. It said parts broken. Did we break his face? I think we did. The music stopped. Is it? Oh, there, there it's back. Lots of hits on his legs, causing lots of trips, which is good. Uh, we kind of need him at this point to go away. Oh, no, maybe we didn't break his face. His face appears to be not broken. Whoa, let's get healed up. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. Did all the Palakim get killed? Is he leaving? Please leave. Yeah, okay, he's... He's leaving. Yeah, the minor Palico, I think, got killed at some point. That's, uh... 
That's a sad one. I didn't even realize that it happened. Let's go ahead and get ourselves uh, sharpened up. Chase after him. Again, we could really use a couple more healing items. We could head back to camp if we wanted to play it super safe. I mean, if stuff goes wrong, we can always do that, but at this point, we might as well just keep going. Eat this ration. Uh, some mucus. But not what we're looking for. Yeah, there he is. Hey, buddy! Woo! Oh man, I was really hoping to get him on the other side of the cliff. Come on, jump down here so I can get at you. No, Flint! You're being dumb. Attack the monster. Okay, or do that. Alright, yeah, run over here. Nope, that's fire. I don't want to be flamed. I want him to come over here. There you go. Let's see if he's ready for another mount here. Ah! Missed him! The times I kind of wish I had the insect glaive. Oh. Alright, fine. If you don't want to let us mount you. We're on fire. That's not good. We need to get ourselves put out. Uh, we're just going to run this way. Do some rolling to get the fire out, which is good. We're just going to kind of book it. Uh, where's our... Uh, where's our ghillie suit? There it is, in case we need it. Woo! should really put that on a shortcut so I can use it quickly. Uh, maybe our down shortcut. Don't try to engage a monster when your health is I low. I know that my health it's is low. It's smarter to focus on healing. Heal me up, buddy. Thank you, Flint. All right, we got three mega potions. I think we're fine. I think we can handle this. I don't think this Aginoth has anything on us. Ooh. We have poisoned him quite a few times, which is good. Ooh, there we go. Really just kind of wish, though, that we would uh, not have to deal with these Apsaroses everywhere. They're even just kind of a pain. There he is. Come on, stamina. Come on back. There we go. Yeah, yeah. You're a big, scary big guy. Oh! I'm that wrong. Let's get back on the aggression here, or not. Oh my goodness, come on. Oh, he's limping. I didn't realize we had hurt him that much. He's already limping for us. That's good. Uh, he's going to probably go back to his nest. We'll find out where he's headed. I don't know where his nest is. I still feel bad about our... Our Palico buddy who was with us being being dead or gone or whatever happened. Where is his nest gonna be, do you think? I mean, he is he's just squeezing in. He fits through there? Okay. This seems an inadequate amount of space for him to go through. But whatever. I don't make physics, I just live with them. Where is he going? He's going way up. Holy moly. There's where he's going. Alright, so there's his little nest. I don't know why all these little dudes are here. Uh, we don't have any bombs. If we did, we would use them. So, uh, we're just going to beat him up a bit. Oh, look at this ground. I'm... Look how spongy and this, like, moves around and everything. This has got to be, like, a trap if he falls in it, I bet. Ow. Oh, my goodness. 
I'm in trouble. Flip sensed it and did something good. Thank you, Flip. I wonder how you step that this off. I wonder if you can get him captured in it. Wow, he is just going for broke. Well, at this point, I would too. I mean, if I was him. Somebody's been poking me with a, a poison stick for a while. Oh, this is dangerous. I should really heal. We'll just... Yep, that's one way to do it. Uh, Flint, come here and heal me for free. Thank you. Uh, he is close to death. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, we're on fire again. After we just got healed. Woo! The environment is falling apart. Don't know what's happening. I'm trying to get a potion ready so I can use it when I need to. Hence the running around randomly. Oh! Not where we want to be. This is not the distance we want. Even this has that like spongy bottom to it. Oh yeah. Oh there we go. Yes, so you can capture him in there. Having a bad day. We're having a bad day now. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This is the worst place we could be. Literally the worst. Uh, this is not a path. That's fire. Where's my ghillie suit? Woo! Alright. Let's, uh, let's hide for a moment. Let's heal up. He's, he's, he's lost our scent, which is fine. All right. Once one of your specialized tools effectively is fired, unequip it. After it recharges, you can use it again. There we go. How do I unequip it? Oh, I probably just uh, select it. No, that's not what I want. There we go. Oh, I just have to wait for it to recharge. All right, let's do this real quick while we're here. Um, customize radial menu. You've got to be joking me. Seriously. We're in the middle of a fight. It's being recorded. I don't need you messing with me. Uh, let's put it to the right. There we go. And we're going to make this... Uh, the ghillie suit. No, I don't want a sticker. Special items. There we go. So that way, when it recharges, we can just use it when we need it, instead of messing around with our menus and praying like we did there a minute ago. Because, wow, that was that was frustrating. Alright, onto the Zaginoff. Let's finish him off. He can't be... He can't have that much left. <gasps> There's a Rathalos. That's not good. Apparently, he and, uh, the... Oh, what is going on here? There's a turf war happening. We do not want to get in the middle of this, folks. Oh, the Aginoth is just... Well... <laughs> That's, uh, one way to do it. <laughs> oh, that would have been dramatically cool. Well, thank you, Mr. Rathalos, for uh, helping us out with that last little bit. Oh. And down goes the Aginoth. Oh, we must have broke his face, but we didn't. We didn't break his uh, his nose or his claws. It looks like probably have a break. 
Huh. I'm gonna have to figure out a better way to attack him. And I bet you his tail also has a cut. So we'll have to look at that. Man, that feels good. We downed the, uh... We downed the Aginoth. Uh, and he's part of a tree. He's, he's going all wobbly on us. That's kind of odd. But that Rathalos made for a dramatic ending. Did not expect that to happen. That was pretty cool. Go ahead and let our timer expire so we can get our rewards. Oh, look! Flint! Have a sausage. Everyone loves a sausage. Especially Flint. Sausages, they're delicious. Uh, we got a scale, a monster bone large, a nose bone, a flame sack, armor sphere pluses, and an extra fang, obtained by breaking its head. Okay, we did get the head break, we saw that. Four grand, our hunter rank went to HR5, our research levels went up. Oh, goodness. We can take on four-star assignments, and a new upgrade level is available for armor. Cool. I have upgraded the Pukey Pukey armor. Oh, that's new. We have not seen that in the background. I bet you were going to get a cutscene. Why not? What has changed? There's a cannon! There's cannons everywhere! Oh my goodness! Gotta love a cannon. Gather round, people. We have much to discuss. All our preparations are complete, and I have all of you to thank for working double time to make it happen. I'm especially impressed with the fifth for hunting the Antonath despite being. Woo! Near. Yeah, we're good. We know it. You know it. Respect it. That's one less misery standing between us and capturing Zora Magdaros. Well done. When will Zora reach the Great Ravine? Precisely at dark. Huh. Good. Let's run through the operation one last time, then. Our hunters will rendezvous on site. Once the beast appears, the operation will commence. We've built two barriers in the target's path. Your objective is to stop it at the first barrier, initially wearing it down with cannon and ballista fire, then restrain it with binders. However, there is a chance it will break through. If so, we'll initiate the mounting phase of the operation. This, uh, this seems like a lot to be happening this soon in the game. During this phase, we'll attempt to weaken it further, so that we'll have a better chance of restraining it at the second barrier. Make sure you hammer it as much as possible with cannons and ballista. They're there for a reason. Affirmative, sir. Technicians, make sure you do a final check on the equipment before we begin. Yes, sir. Quartermasters, conduct an inventory on our supplies. Researchers, proceed to the Great Ravine with your escort as soon as you're ready. We can't bring our quarry back to base, so take what you need and be prepared to conduct your research. Oh, goodness. Site. Don't worry, Commander. Everything will be in order. Keep your ears open during the operation. I'll be giving orders as the situation unfolds. May the Sapphire Star light your way. Dismissed. I don't know what the Sapphire Star is, but I'm real glad if it lights our way. So is everybody else. We all nodded. Woo! Wow, the big moment is finally here. I'm shaking up storm here. How about you? Uh, we have... Let's take a look here. No exclamation points, just the handler. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to her and see what our next quest will be. People are running by, there's cannons everywhere. I went the wrong way, because I'm really good. Roop, there we go. Let's head up to the canteen. Alright, tell us what's going on, handler. What's up? <laughs> oh my gosh, Pard, can you believe it? It's finally happening! We chased it across the sea, got our ship wrecked by it, hunted all over the new world looking for it, and now our strange relationship with Zora Magdoros is about to reach a new plateau. 
We're gonna capture it. Say it with me. Capture an elder dragon. Oh, yeah. I tell you, when my grandfather boarded that ship and came here with the first, he said he was ready to complete his mission here in the new world, or die trying. He'd found his sapphire star to follow, like in that story. And I always wondered what was going through his head as he crossed the sea. Zora Magdaros too. Do you think old Magma Brains even understands why it's here, or is it just compelled? Sorry, that was a lot of tangents I went off on there. Ah. Hey, I just realized. You know, you still haven't told me why you came to the New World. I bet you're on the run. On the run from a deadly group of Mailing's assassins. That's it, isn't it? Nothing well, anyway, the base's defenses are solid. All that's left is to get this operation done. You ready? So that means... Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, no optionals. Uh, we can hunt the Aginoth over and over again. No optional quests, really. Uh, no new events. That just leaves our assigned quest. One for the history books. We will be looking at that quest in the next episode of Gaming with Grug. Actually, no we won't. Oh, all the build up for nothing, folks. Um, I just thought of something else we need to talk about that we haven't done. Um, maybe we'll do them here in a minute. What, I'm, what I want to look at, I know this is a long episode, but the last thing I want to talk about. We have these investigation quests that we haven't done any of and uh, it would be good for us to do them at some point so if you look at these investigations well you can see that we have like go kill two monsters we have a bunch of two star three star can I uh, yeah so we have a large number of quests that we need to do still 11 pages of them. Uh, and you'll see that a lot of them are very similar. Uh, like, go kill a Great Jagras in 15 minutes. Go kill a, um, a Great Jagras normally. Go kill a Great Jagras in 30 minutes. So, actually, I don't know if I will put any of these together that are the, like, kill one monster real quick. That's not a big deal. Um, what I will probably do, though, is there are a couple quests here that are like, go kill these two monsters. In 50 minutes, kill a Great Dragoras and a Kulu Yaku. Um, I may do those quests, because the rest of these really are just, hey, do this faster. So we'll check, uh, I'll probably do most of those off-site, except for the ones that are a little bit weird. I haven't decided yet. Um, uh, maybe we won't do those right now, though. We'll probably just go to the Elder Dragon. Who will know? Will it be a bunch of faffing about, or will we actually continue the story? You'll find out on the next episode of Gaming with Grug. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, as always, we hope to see you soon.